What is up, Timmy Academy? Um, it's been a long time. Uh, I've been slacking on the YouTube channel, uh, and I have not given you a whole lot of wholesome, useful information in the past couple months, because honestly, I've just been insanely busy. Uh, moving, I'm driving all over the East Coast to pick up collections. Um, man, just in the last couple weeks, I've been to Denver, Virginia, and South Carolina, and now I'm going to South Carolina again on Tuesday or Wednesday. It's Monday, uh, October 19th. Um, today marks exactly six months from the day I got furloughed, uh, and as my, from my job as a chef. Um, so after six months, um, I've been doing a little reflecting and it seems like what I'm doing here with this cardboard crack is, um, a viable way to make a business, make a living. Um, Still not sure yet. I'm going to give it another six months and see kind of um, if it works or not. Uh, I picked up a little one day a week serving gig, which I did for a few weeks, gave away some of my shifts, and just kind of it's fizzled now. Um, wasn't really worth it. I can make more money sitting here and uploading cardboard onto TCG Player. So, um, what are some other updates? Uh, started working at a dairy farm, uh, making ice cream uh, with this really cool farmer. Um, he turned 60 this year. He's uh, been doing it pretty much his whole life. And um, yeah, COVID hit his milk sales a little bit because he does most of his milk sales to uh, restaurants. He does non-homogenized milk, bottles on site. Um, super awesome farm super awesome guy so uh been helping him out on saturdays making ice cream um if you get a chance to check it out if you're in the north carolina area um or the durham triangle raleigh area uh ranlu dairy uh hopefully we'll be shipping his ice cream at least regionally soon we'll see uh, a lot of infrastructure things with that we need to build up but uh check it out ranlu dairy if you're in the you're in the neighborhood, R-A-N hyphen L-E-W dairy. Um, dairy's been in his family for like a couple hundred years, I think. Um, that's kind of, that's pretty much what's been going on with me. Um, today we're going to talk about shipping. Uh, this is probably this, besides buying collections and doing that properly, this is gonna be the most important thing for making each sale profitable. Um, I've got a bunch of different avenues and ways to uh, do different shipping things for different uh, different sales. Um, pretty much I've got, I've got my uh, shipping table set up over here. Um, and usually on a Monday, like today, we're pretty busy. Um, recently switched over to TCG Direct, which has been good. Um, fees went up, but amount of time packaging pro uh, packages has gone down significantly, which is great. Gives me more time to buy and sort and list. Um, so we'll have uh, eBay sales, which uh, I've had time to sort land, so we're doing land bundles again. Um, I'm going to start selling singles on eBay, I think just some of the higher end stuff that's it seems like Facebook sales have slowed down a little bit. I think people are a little tapped with all the new product. Uh, I think some of the unemployment and coronavirus stimulus um, money has dropped off a little bit or starting to dwindle out. Um, and apparently Pokemon's going crazy right now, so people are probably moving some cash that way. I don't know. Holidays are coming up. Just seems like I've, I bought 40 dual lands, um, actually let's, I never did a video for these duels. I flew out to Denver to hang out with my friends and, uh, play magic with, a, a small play group, um, and wound up picking up 40 duels while I was out there. Uh, decent amount of them have sold off, but we still have, still have like 14 or 15 left, um, including... An unlimited underground sea and oop, let's see if I did not already have one in LP condition um, I would probably keep this buddy 
Uh, didn't get a super deal on it. Um, there was still a little bit of room for me to make some money, um, but it was it wasn't wasn't thirty percent off. Um, so there's still some duels kicking around. Usually, if you have them three or four days and they're gone, um, I got these a week ago. So um, and even pre-sold about half of them, which was turned a little messy and probably won't be doing that again. Uh, just grading issues. Um, where was I? Oh yeah, so some of the some of the higher end stuff is kicking around a little bit, um, and so I might start listing it on eBay and seeing how that goes. Uh, so the duels, couple mox diamonds, gilded drake I've had around for since the store buyout, um, and some time spirals, which used to if I had two or three in stock, I'd ha have ten people hit me up. And I'd be like, hey, sorry, they already sold. So, um, so anyway, today we're going to go over shipping, um, kind of the ways to do it and, and uh, squeeze every penny out of a sale that you can. Um, so first things first, I'm just going to kind of pick up the camera, take you around the office and show you what I do um, and give away some of my guarded secrets. Um, all right, hold on. Let me get settled here. Let's flip this thing back around so I can see what's going on. Uh, bear with me. All right. So, that's my chair. Those are my cords. That's my chair. Um, uh, let's see. Let's go to here. Okay. So I'm going to show you some of the back end. The most important part to shipping is um, piratechip.com. Uh, no fees, nothing, doesn't cost anything to sign up and you get all the best rates. Um, number two, have your own printer. Do not go to the post office. Use pirate chip and your own printer. Print your stuff at home. Do not go to the post office and expect the postal workers to give you any sort of discount or not charge you out the butt because that's their salespeople. That's what they're made to do. That's what their job is. So um, print your own post and you don't have to stand in line at the post office. Just print it, drop it in the slot and leave. Um, this was pretty helpful. I got this the other day. Um, this has kept me on, on point a little bit. So um, be organized. Uh, so this is the shipping table. I've got all my land bundles sorted by 100 lands. So a bundle is 200 per. Um, and they're sold on eBay. Um, so I, I think I did a good job at hiding all the addresses and everything here. So here are the four categories, right? This is my eBay lands bundle. Um, I'm not going to fully give away the secret, but see that X there? In order to profit off of lands, um, you need to ship with that X. The savvy of you will figure it out. Um, it's not 100% kosher, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, so, um, usually shipping's around $2.80 to $3.50. I do a promotion for these land bundles. Um, if you buy more than one, you get a discount, which I think it's a 50 cents difference for me to sell two instead of one. Um, so that when someone buys two, it's actually really profitable. Uh, but you generally make about five dollars per two hundred lands, so that's twenty five dollars on a thousand lands. That's better than bulk rates. Um, sorry, someone's calling. Um, so next up, and I just put this here. I have. I just wanted to show you these Avery labels. Um, Avery 5160. This is for uh, all my direct sales on TCG Player. Not TCG direct sales, but um, that I actually have to ship to the customer. Uh, so they'll look, let me see if I can not reveal anyone's address here. 
Um, so I print the address labels. I download the export shipping and then print all the labels on these Avery 5160s. Um, that way I don't have to handwrite everything. Um, and so this is what the order form looks like for TCG player. Oh crap. Got to edit that out. Um, and yeah, so just, I mean, envelopes, I have a, uh, envelope stamp um, and I stamp all the envelopes I hand stamp them with postage stamps um, just fold and stuff and it takes a lot of time there's only 30 here you, I was doing like 200 to 300 every couple days but TCG direct has cut that down to about 30 every couple days so that's super manageable um, here's my TCG direct order um, so this will be one package straight to TCG. They like it in a certain order, so this is the, you actually have to put this in with the package. Um, but then I print a separate sheet, and I'll do a pull sheet like this for these TCG orders too, um, sorted by play condition and alphabetical, because that's how I have my inventory sorted. Um, so, I'll do the poll and then I'll go back and sort it in this list and then um, it'll be sent as one package. And usually it's a USPS small flat rate which is about $758 although they just raised the rates for so I'm not sure what it is right now. And then over here we've got um, this is all my direct sales to Facebook and stuff like that so I'll just print them tracking. I send a picture of tracking with every direct sale to Facebook. Um, that way if you screw up the address, uh, they've got something, they can see the card and the tracking right next to it. It's a confidence thing and they um, they can tell you if you screwed up the address, which has happened more than once. So I like to send a picture rather than just the tracking number, which most folks do. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the four piles of what I'll be packaging today. Um, we're going to go through and I'll show you kind of how we do each of every one. Um, most important for capitalizing is going to be these lands. If you can figure out how to ship those for under $3 a pop, um, that'll be profitable. I list them for eight ninety nine on, on eBay. So after the like 12%, that's like a buck and change. So you're looking at seven something. 780 or so and then if you can get it for under three then the profit margin on this is five dollars for 200 lands um, if you sell two of them in one package uh, you're looking at like seven dollars per or something like that um, so yeah I'll cut the camera off and we'll jump back when uh, I get set up and we'll show you how to do the lands um, the most important packaging if you do figure out how to do this um, you have to pack it a certain way uh, I like to use um, industrial, for anyone who's bought off me more than like 10 cards or something, I use uh, plastic wrap, uh, industrial food service plastic wrap, uh, kind of turns the cards into an indestructible brick, um, so that's what I like to do. Uh, Alright, let's get into the actual nitty gritty here. Alright, let's go over the lands bundles. Um, so, like I said... Uh, I wrap them all in this plastic wrap. And I'll do two stacks of a hundred. Um, I do it a little differently for each one. Um, for each different bundle, if you do two or three, I go a little more. I go a little differently. Um, it's important to get it right and tight. Um, if you've worked in a kitchen in the restaurant industry, you should be a plastic wrap master. Um, you can also use like team bags and stuff, but it's very important uh, when, hint hint, shipping it this specific method to make it kind of feel like a book. You know what I'm talking about? So, 
Um, I'll have two. That'll be one land bundle. I'll take, I got these 11 by 8s. I actually got these for free. Someone dropped off like a bag, a trash bag of like a hundred or so of these for free. These are 11 by 8s. Um, they work pretty well. I'll stuff these in the bottom. Let me see if I can zoom out a little bit. There we go. So you can see the setup a little better. Um, I'll stuff these in the bottom. Now the other thing that works is go on Nextdoor or Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace. And, uh, but next door kind of works best. Make a post letting people know, hey, I run a small business that's online sales. Um, if you have Amazon bubble mailers, um, I'd like to recycle them. Some people stash them up to recycle them. Um, you have to drop them off at some certain place, but let them know, Hey, I'll come pick them up, leave them on your porch. If you've got like 25 or 30 or more, um, and you can get free bubble mailers. Um, yeah. And people are into it because you're reusing them. And I do the same thing with bubble mailers. I'll put, put it on the bottom, right? And give yourself, you know, just a little bit of flat, like an inch or two of flap here. And I'll cut this thing in half and actually get two bubble mailers out of it. And I'll show you how I do that. These are the little tricks that will save you 10 cents here and 10 cents there. But if you're doing 100 land sales a year, you're going to save 10 bucks, you know. So, so I'll cut a little flap. See that? And kind of turn it into a package. Um, where's my tape? Um, tape, get one of these red tape dispenser things, um, buy tape in bulk. I usually do staples, tape's expensive. Um, so I try to f grab more when it's on sale. Um, I think it's like eight rolls for like 30 bucks or something. Uh, don't get the moving stuff. The moving stuff's more expensive and get the shipping stuff. Uh, make sure you're looking at the length of the roll um, because it seems like they try to get you with the tape so make sure do the like dollar per 500 feet of tape calculations and get the cheapest one um, even if it's thinner or whatnot it doesn't really matter you're not shipping um, you know big heavy boxes for the most part um, like I almost never ship anything over 10 pounds. Um, I'll ship cases of booster boxes occasionally, um, but it's not very often. So that's kind of, you get this nice tight little package, you know, and then, um, and then you just slap your, your little label on there and ship it off. Now, there's a longer shipping time for this shipping method. Um, I believe it's five to seven days, so you really want to get it in the mail that first day um, to make sure everything's kosher. I've been doing this particular land bundle. Usually when I stack up to 10,000 or more lands, I'll, I'll post these. Um, and uh, I posted 10 on Thursday, I think, and now it's Monday, all 10 are sold. Um, so that's $50 in profit, 55 or so because I, 50, yeah, probably 55 or so because I sold um, a couple bundles of two. And you do a promotional discount on eBay. You know, they've got that thing like buy two, get 5% off, buy three, get 10% off, whatever it is. Um, so I do that as well and structure it to like you buy, by the time you buy four, you get 12 or 13% off, which saves me a ton on shipping and um, makes me a lot more money. So that's how to make money on basic lands. I told you I would do this. I actually pay more per thousand for basic lands than I do for bulk. Um, I'll pay eh, four to six dollars for bulk depending on how picked I think it is, and um, I'll pay probably up to $8 per thousand lands, because I know they'll sell, um, I know they'll sell quickly, and you can make $25 profit. So, you know, if you're even if you're paying eight, you're still making 17 bucks on a thousand lands. Um, so yeah, that's how to make money on basic lands.
Um, let's move on to the next one. All right, so. All of the eBay land packs are packed up, and now we are on to uh, direct sales with Facebook. Um, I recently started a personal sales page on Facebook. Um, has about 90 or so of my regular customers, so I do a lot of stuff through there. Um, and then also posting to the Facebook groups. Uh, the usual is $3 for tracked shipping and a bubble mailer, top loader, you know, the standard way to pack an order. Um, and that's what I do. I do, I'll split insurance since UPS, USPS has been kind of wacky recently. Um, I'll split insurance if someone wants insured for some of the larger things. Otherwise, it's just $3 tracked. Um, I might have to raise my rates. I think yesterday USPS raised their rates and I thought they wouldn't be that significant, but it seems like it's about 30 to 50 cents per tracked first class shipping. Um, so I might have to raise my rates by 50 cents. Um, so uh, what I use for these is uh, these I actually recently switched to these because they're um, waterproof. Uh, you can get a thousand of these, like, uh, what are they, six by five or six by four, something like that. Um, bubble mailers for 83 and change, I believe I paid. Just look on eBay. Um, I forget what the size name is, but, you know, it's the general, like, six by five, six by four, whatever it is, seven by five. Um, there's a few different ones that are similar, but it pretty much, you can see it fits a top loader pretty nicely, um, or a stack of top loaders. I think you can fit about 50 cards in here if you wrap them and stack them. Um, so I'm just going to show you how to, um, how to package one of these real quick. Um, I'll show you how to package a couple because I've got on top, I've got a kind of a smaller $60 order and then underneath I've got an $1,100 order. So, um... Let's just cover that up so you can't see who we're shipping to. So we've got four fourth edition strip mines and a Chronicle City of Brass. Um, let me grab a sleeve. Uh, actually, I think I've got enough sleeve. So with these smaller orders, um, I'll stuff two or three in each sleeve. Um, I don't generally go more than three in a top loader um, for cards that are over like $10, $10 or so. Um, gonna wanna put put them in the sleeve. Here's the open part of the sleeve right here. Put the open part of the sleeve facing the bottom. Sometimes it's tough to get uh, three in there. So we've got that and then I just throw a little piece of tape on top. Some people like to use team bags. I like tape. And then when you shake it, you don't want it to move around. And if you can see, let's see if we can, I pinch the top a little bit um, when I tape it so that it really kind of squeezes it and doesn't let it move. Um, and then we'll go two in here. Um, put this upside down. See, two slides right in. Three is a little tougher. You might have to um, put the open end right side up in a three, or you can fit four, sometimes you can fit five if you really have the right sleeve. Um, but I don't do that with anything over a couple bucks. You know, if it's five $1 cards, I'll do it. Um, but you might have to put it, and then that makes the pinching it even more um, necessary. And then you just wanna shake and make sure it doesn't move around. Um, same thing with packaging anything. When you're packaging a box with a bunch of cards in it or whatnot, standard SOP for shipping is shake it. If nothing moves, then you're good to go for the most part. Um, the only other thing you're worried about is crushing. So, see, nothing moves. So if I have two top loaders or more, I'll stack them, and then I'll actually tape them together. Um, gives a little more reinforced shipping. Um, and actually, if it's just one card and uh, 
and it's a pretty valuable card, I'll actually tape two empty top loaders to either side so it's it's a little stiffer. So even if it something sits on it, it's not going to bend the card. I've seen pictures of people getting bent cards that were even in top loaders. Um, so we'll uh, let's see how we're going to do this. Go like that. There you go. We'll put it in there. Um, doesn't really matter how you do it. Uh, tape it down, and that's pretty much it. Um, I'll tape the label to the front, and we'll ship it out just like that. Now it's waterproof. Um, it's pretty. You can see I'm bending it. It'll move around in there, but um, it'll be fine. I've not had any. The only issue I've had with something like this is um, it got wet. Apparently, it smelled like oil by the time it got to some very regular customer of mine. Um, we were working out. Actually, it had been a month or more um, before he gotten it. He reached out. He wanted a refund. I was about to refund him. I got busy. I didn't refund him. Um, and then the next day, he said, actually, the package just got here. It was in a USPS like Ziploc bag. And he pulled it out, and the cards were... The cards were fine inside, but the package was wet, and he said it smelled like motor oil. So, um, ever since then, when I had to order more of these, I went with the waterproof ones, just in case. Um, all kinds of weird stuff can happen in the mail. Um, so, yeah, we'll go that. Now, um, this one is a pricier one. Um... We've got three Mox Diamonds we're shipping out. So I'll put each one in an individual sleeve. Um, I'll tape the top. They're already in sleeve, or individual top loader. They're already in sleeves and uh, upside down in there. So they're all good. Um, we've got three. So usually three is, for something like this, I want three. Um, but since there's three cards, that's why I put them in individual top loaders. I'll tape the sides. And that's pretty much, that's how you do that. Same deal in the, in the package and we're good to go. Um, I think if you, now I don't know the rates anymore, but if you go to the post office and you don't print your own package, your own printing packaging slip, uh, I think they'll charge you close to $5 for these. Um, if it's on the East Coast, I think I'm paying around 303. Um, if it's anywhere else, it's close to 350. So um, I used to charge three dollars flat. Actually, even these packages today charge three dollars flat for shipping. Um, and then kind of the the ones that were 320 would make, and there were ones that were like 280, and they'd balance each other out. Um, so I just do three dollars flat for everyone, but now I think I'm gonna have to go up to like 325, maybe 350, uh, so that those two things balance out. Um, you don't want to lose money on shipping. Um, when it's a big enough purchase, you can do free shipping. Like for this one, I did free shipping, um, and I gave him a little bit of an extra discount because he bought all three of them. Uh, but you kind of gotta figure out what your price point, your cost basis, and all that is. Um, yeah, top loaders right now very expensive. Um, if you get them, if you can get them for under a hundred dollars a case, I'd say that's a good buy. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of individual orders. Uh, next, we'll do probably um, TCG Direct. All right, so uh, TCG Player Direct sales for those of you who are in this program. Um, the steps for that are going to be uh, get, having 3K inventory, 3,000 cards in inventory, um, doing $600 in sales a week, I believe, and um, having a feedback rating, a high feedback rating. I forget what the threshold is, but if you're doing a good job, you, that's not something you really have to worry about. Um, so with these, I already I listed them in, or I sorted them in their order you're gonna have zero sleeves on there you just um just raw cards um you've got to put them in the order on this packing slip so i just start from the bottom 
and go up the list so they're in the right order. And then I wrap them. Um, it depends on how many are in the order, uh, how I really package them, but this is around a hundred card order. So I'll just package them kind of like we do for the, um, for the lands, the eBay lands, but I'll add a little more protection to them. So, I'm gonna go ahead and I'll wrap them in just a little bit of protection. I'll also label them one and two since, since there's two packs and they need to be in order. So I'll go ahead and wrap them in this thing. Just kind of stuff that in the bottom. Chop this off. And I'll be able to use the, the other half of this for another land bundle, even though it's more than halfway. Cut a little strip out. to put the order into the order sheet into the package. Uh, I always forget stuff like that with TCG orders and all kinds of stuff. Um, so, open it back up, we'll throw this in there. Now, if it's more than a hundred card order, usually uh, they want you to do a priority shipping. Um, and so I will, if it's, if it's hedging towards like 150 cards, I'll do a small flat rate priority or something like that um, instead of a first class package. Just throw a little extra tip on this side. That's pretty much it. Um, that one's the easiest. I mean, this is, besides uh, Facebook direct sales over $500, this is generally gonna be my most valuable package going out. And one of the easiest to package, besides sorting all the cards in the right order. But if you've got your inventory in alphabetical order, um, then it makes it a lot easier. All right, next we'll go into uh, individual TCG packages. All right, folks, so this is the last of the shipping processes that we're gonna look at today, and this is probably the most important for majority of people because this is gonna be kind of where your bread and butter and where everyone starts out at. Um, you start a store on TCG Player, um, you work towards to get to level four, and then um, kind of the next step if you wanna go that route is uh, entering into the direct program. Um, so I've already done my poll for these 30 orders. Um, I've already got the envelopes um, stamped with a return address and address mailered, uh, address labeled um, with everyone's address on there. And then I fold the order and kind of put it uh, in there so you can see what the order is. Um, always make sure to double check as you're going along and just make sure you're sending the right order to the right person that the envelope matches the pull sheet, the order sheet. Um, and I usually, I'll go through, I'll stamp all, everything I need um, and then I'll go through and I'll put the address labels on, I'll flip them all over and then I'll fold all the 
pieces of paper and go th go back through. So, um, so yeah, just uh, this part is kind of the easiest part. And I have my piles near mint LP, MP, HP. Uh, so I'll find the card that's on there. Um, throw it in the top loader, same deal. Tape the top. Uh, and then I slide it right into the order there, see? And put it in the dealie. Make sure to get the uh, self-sticking envelopes because nobody wants to lick a thousand envelopes. Um, so that's kind of, that's how I, I do those packages. Um, now the, um, the important part about lowering your cost basis on shipping the TCG orders is stamps. Don't just go to the post office and buy 55 packet stamps, uh, $55 100 stamp packets. Um, go on eBay, uh, you can find 1,000, 1,000 forever stamps, generally between 350 and 400 for 1,000. Um, and so that's going to lower your cost basis by a, about $150 every time you ship a thousand envelopes. Um, I buy in bulk. Sometimes I'll buy two to three thousand uh, at a time. Um, I think any more with the direct program, I'll probably stick to a thousand at a time. Will probably be a couple months worth, two three months worth um, envelopes. The cheapest place I found to find envelopes is Costco. Um, if you have a Costco membership or know someone with, who does, um, there's 500 envelopes for 10.99 or something like that, um, and they're the self, the uh, peel and stick. So um, paper as well, I get from Costco. It's like 5,000 sheets for 27 dollars or something like that. Uh, top loaders is going to be your biggest cost. If you can find them, like I said, under 100 dollars a um, a case of a thousand then that's probably the way to go 10 cents 10 to 15 cents is per top loader is about where we're at these days hopefully after all of the uh pandemic supply chain stuff gets sorted out we'll we'll see a price drop on the top loaders but for now uh, we're looking at about um yeah 10 15 cents per i'm paying 9.7 cents i think for the last few cases i bought um so with these orders, I don't think I have any examples of more than 10 cards, but essentially you can you can put four to five cards in each one of these. If you need if you need to go above five cards, I will um, I'll stuff four to five in each and I'll tape them shut just like normal and I'll stick them end to end like this and I'll put an X of tape. Uh, one side of the X on this side, one side of the X on the other side. Um, so that they don't overlap each other because the problem is if they overlap in the envelope they won't go through the uh, sorter machine. Um, so I tape them together so they can't overlap and that's the way to get uh, 10 to 12 cards in one of these orders. Um, that's about the max. Once you get over that you may have to get creative and um, either uh, I, I usually after I get over 12 cards, I'll probably put it in a bubble mailer and just throw some tracking on it. Um, I wonder if I've left anything out. Uh, hit me up in the comments below. Uh, also check check out down below. I've, um, I've kind of added a few things down there. I added a link to my TCG store, a link to a um, Google spreadsheet with my current inventory for direct sales for some of the larger pieces. Um, and yeah, I think that's it. Uh, shoot me a, an email at thegoodsmtg at gmail.com for anything you need. I uh, hope to talk to you guys soon. Later.